Now, World Cup songs. Uh, there have been a few good ones, a few bad ones over the years. This time round, though, uh, the songwriters are hoping 2010 will be the perfect pitch as the latest musical tributes to the England team are unleashed. There's not a day it was passed, but there isn't another one, it seems. Uh, do we really have what it takes, though, on that front? Well, Steph Elmore has been having a listen. See what you think. Rooney, Rooney, we love you. Another day, another football anthem. It can only mean one thing. It's the World Cup. Despite there being no official England tune, it's not stopped many fading celebrities from exercising their vocals. And Brother Beyond's Nathan Moore is no exception. He features on the Help for Heroes charity single released today. Modest Nathan says many songs fail because they're just bad, but he believes his has what it takes. Many of those World Cup songs that will come, come out, uh, you know, there's hundreds of them on their way, but there are many of them, or most of them, will fall by the wayside because the songs are just not good enough. Let's face it, he has a point. Many have tried to capture the nation's imagination, but not all managed to top the charts. England in Germany. And scoring goals! Neil and Christine Hamilton's efforts were a flop back in 2006. But hope was restored when Miss Geordie Pair proved they still had what it takes from their Let's Get Ready to Rumble days. And then there's Bindaloo. What's the golden recipe for a winning football song? You've got to better hum it, you've got to better remember it. You've got to, you've got to, it's got to make you emotional, I guess, hasn't it? I think it's definitely got to be catchy, something that people can hear once and sing along with. It's got to be a laugh as well, can't be too serious. Whether we have an official World Cup tune or not, you can guarantee we'll all be singing if England can bring the cup home. Steph Elmore, Sky News. Thank you, Steph. Let's get the pro professional perspective on this. This is Helene Linval. Helene is a songwriter and a musician. She writes a music blog for The Guardian, but you're Swedish. Yes, I am. Do you do this sort of thing in Sweden? It doesn't become as big as in this country, and usually it's, uh, they're very naff, very naff, not that a lot of those weren't, but um, I think that the one anthem we've succeeded in is, uh, with, is uh, Europe's final countdown. Yes. Which was not, it was actually for ice hockey. And, and was it originally? Football, yeah. And we have had, of course, a Swedish influence in one of our World Cup songs, which is called... Sven, Sven, Sven. So you're, you're right in with it there. <laughs> you're really right in with it there. Any content is now on your website. I know you were asking people to say, um, you know, what they think is, is the best or, or a good World Cup song. What contenders have emerged? Uh, well, definitely World in Motion uh, with uh, New Order. That's mm -hmm. a classic. Everyone lo loves that. Um, not that many mentioned Vindaloo, even though it uh, seems to have been not disappoint big... Mrs. Beltral beside you there. She likes that one. It's the only one that hasn't been re-released, so I think it's kind of time to re-release Vindaloo. I've had loads of tweets on this. People feel really strongly about it. Um, Simon Willins, Three Lions, still has it for me. Uh, Stuart Bonder, John Barnes, World in Motion. No, 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 that one. Uh, that was the best. Uh, Paul Horgan, World Cup football songs are really, really naff. Um, I suggest that Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus get together and re-record called Vindaloo and C. Johnson said, no, could we just tar and feather them? It'd be much more interesting. And Gat Boy can't handle another summer of drunken yobbos chanting, it's coming home, it's coming home. Please make them stop. Okay? Well, Hel Helene, they will not stop, of course, and I think we're probably going to get one every day until the World Cup <laughs> um, kicks off. What about the ingredients for these songs? I mean, as a professional musician, I suppose all normal rules go out the window. Oh, completely, completely. I mean, it's got to be simple. It's got to actually, I, with Vindaloo, as atrocious as it really is, and, and for me, it was kind of weird as a Swede to think the English team is singing a song called Vindaloo. Um, but it is so easy to sing along with, and it's, you know, it's... Uh,
got that kind of thing that you can sing from the rafters. Um, I heard that, uh, I was gonna say Girls Aloud, but Goals Aloud song that has come out in, in aid of Help for Heroes. Um, it just lacks a little bit, yeah, there it comes. Um, it just lacks a little bit of that sing-along that you will sing from the rafters, I think. Okay, and have you got the World Cup fever now as a result of all of this and researching this? I'm completely disappointed that Sweden isn't even in there, so <laughs> I guess I'll have to resign to uh, support England this year. And learn the words of Vindaloo. Eliane Linval, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much indeed. Uh, keep your tweets coming in on that. Uh, at Eamon Holmes, at Sky Jackie, and news at Sky.com.